So by clicking on any one of these gives me much more detail as to what's happened with this specific claim in what order and at what time along with those time gaps. So this screen is showing me detail specific to timeline or claim number X. Now the column is showing me the superset of all the events which have occurred as a part of this claim. We can see when first notice of loss has occurred, when coverage and liability is confirmed, an adjuster is assigned, and so on. Now, if I turn on the sub-processes, what's going to happen here is these additional columns to the right, the tool has automatically figured out by analyzing specific patterns in this data set as to which things are most commonly done together or as mutually exclusive steps. So in other words, it automatically detected those which are done as sub or parallel processes and has grouped them out together. So for example, every claim should expect to have a first notice of loss event along with a coverage confirmation and a fraud check, but not every claim is going to have a personal injury claim associated with it, maybe a rental car or total loss with corresponding salvage information. And you can see those broken out here and grouped together as sub-processes. So in essence, you'll see events grouped together which correspond with the major categories of the insurance claim. Coverage, liability, damages, subrogation, and salvage where it applies. Now this is very much a micro view of the process as opposed to that main timeline screen, which at first is a macro view. But the granularity that we have here can oftentimes be very useful. If we're looking to uncover the root cause of a compliance risk or a workflow inefficiency, we no longer need to physically walk around with a clipboard and stopwatch and try to spot what is very often a needle in a haystack. The level of detail that you have here tells the entire story about this claim and at the very least can give you clues as to where the problems lie if there are any. So if we think about loading up data across multiple systems of record, we're essentially piecing together the composite life cycle of this claim throughout the entire process, regardless of the system of record which is responsible for recording these events.